I am so excited for our next guest that's going to tee up in about five minutes. You know who Adam is, Adam Prizer, WP Crafter. Adam is so much a big part of why Cadence is successful. Cadence and Adam met way before I met Cadence. And a lot of that early success with people saying, oh my gosh, this is changing the way I think about the block editor started with Adam and Adam bringing it to his audience on YouTube and beyond. Um, a lot of the advice that was given to Ben and Hannah when they were just getting started came from Adam. So it is a real treat for us to have Adam here to kind of share where he's at and also share where, where he's going. He's doing so much amazing stuff. So if you have never heard from Adam, you are in for a real treat. Um, Adam, you, it looks like you are backstage. If you've got a screen share, there's a little present button. You can cue that up and we will uh, get that all ready for you. I feel like I've already given you an introduction and <laughs> it's got like four minutes to the top of the hour. I want to make sure that everybody that's coming in for you with all of the social posts and stuff that were scheduled to go out that uh, we they don't miss anything. So I'm just going to fill time. Um, if you guys are here in the comments, um, drop in some comments. How has Amplify been for you? What sessions have been great? What sessions have up-leveled your thinking about how you build with WordPress? Um, the security talk uh, landing pages with Zach Stopek, that was that was pretty amazing. He's doing some really innovative things. What What's resonating with you? And you can even ask questions, like start dropping questions for, for Adam. And then after Adam, Track two is going to come over here, and we are going to hear from the man, the legend, Ben Rittner, the founder of Cadence, the one who started all of this magic in basically changing the way people are building with WordPress. Super exciting stuff. All right. A couple minutes. I'm going to pull you in, Adam, if you're ready. Hi. Hey, How are Kathy. You? I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm done with the stretching. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I, I figured you should have just brought me in. Uh, I'm a little on the chatty side, so I'm sure uh, I can fill up. Uh, I don't know. I, you know. Unfortunately, I missed you at the the WordCamp event two months ago. Yeah. You would have seen how, like, I'm like, uh, you know, in a, in a circle of people, I'm probably the guy trying to make everyone feel comfortable talking getting trying to get people laughing and stuff like that and and all of that um uh so that's why i'm like pull me in pull me in we can fill up this gap uh, it's very easy very cool very cool i heard you had um you had a very interesting word camp us and i heard you had oh. a very interesting trip home like that, whoa yeah that was There's crazy <laughs> yeah I, i'll tell i'll tell everyone i this is um extremely rare i don't think this happens to most people so i hop on the plane and 10 minutes into the flight i'm relaxed i got my eyes closed i got my earbuds in for noise cancellation and then i hear this boom now i'm sitting right next to the engine uh so kind of middle middle plane and and it woke me up and i said what the heck was that like really loud and i felt really bad right because anyone who saw that movie meet the parents knows if you say the wrong thing you're getting off the plane yeah. um uh anyways uh what ended up happening it was uh you know interesting 20 minutes there but the engine went out and we had to make an emergency landing and uh I usually don't get afraid, but I got afraid when I looked at the flight attendant and she's sitting there, she pulls her phone out and she's texting someone and she's sh literally shaking. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. Um, and so then I was texting my wife. I'm like, honey, I might not see you. I love you so much. Uh, oh. Like I literally sent that text message to her. Uh, anyways, it was a, a crazy experience. It takes a lot to scare me, but that scared me. <laughs> I'll tell you. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. See, okay. I didn't hear all of those details. Oh, sorry. I, I think, I think you, know, you just had like an, in my mind, it was just like this, okay, we had to turn around and go back type of thing. I didn't hear that. That's, that is scary. Well, in, the, 
it was crazy is the the pilots like trying to calm everyone down oh yeah this is uh entirely normal uh we're gonna when we land there's gonna be uh multiple fire engines and all of that but this is very normal <laughs> you know it was it was the craziest thing uh yeah. but uh anyways uh i i live to tell the day I, I think airplane crashes are very rare so you know it's yeah. mostly safe you know yeah but yeah so when you landed was it pretty was did you have to like go down the stairs and like stand on the tarmac and everything like so they could check the plane or no they uh they first checked um checked everything out we were stuck on the tarmac for a while and then they they uh uh we they, we were able to uh, taxi in but we taxied in okay. and the plane literally couldn't move after that like uh the next day when we left they had to get a new plane they couldn't even move the plane because it was like the engines were shot so oh. um yeah, it was pretty, uh, it was, it was quite an event, you know, at the end of a, a trip, you want to get home, you want to go home, you want to go to your bed, you want to go to your pillow, you want to see your family. So, yes. uh, but anyways, um, I survived. Thank goodness. It's not my time yet. No, you've got a lot to do. I'm, <laughs> I'm watching all of your stuff because you're doing some really amazing things. And I know a lot of your fans are starting to show up here. Everybody's excited to see you. And you're going to start, you're going to talk to us today about elevating your online store and unleashing e-commerce potential with WordPress, WordPress blocks. And I am here for it. And I know a lot of other people are too. Pretty exciting. We're going to actually make an entire e-commerce site using the cadence theme in about five minutes. That's how I'm going to start this thing. So uh, it's it, uh, and then we're going to customize every area of it visually using blocks, which I'm sure the audience is very familiar with and comfortable with already. Amazing. So it'll be it'll be good. Now, I have a just a technical question for you. Yeah, um, uh, I would prefer to use my own switching like this. Um, did that not switch? Oh, I guess it's not not going to switch like that. You, uh, huh. Do you have um I could just actually show uh share my browser. Um okay. I can sh share my browser through it. Is that what I do with the present option? Yeah, you can hit present and then under share screen it is going to give you some options um and that should allow you to hmm. Get into, you can do share your entire screen, share your window, a specific Chrome tab. Uh, probably if you're going to go back and forth between windows, I would just have a specific Chrome window. And then you, then you should be able to go back and forth between different windows. Let me see something here. If I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, folks, I thought I had gone through this and um, I was going to use my own switching device, but this is not switching anything, huh? No, I'm not even seeing your screen share in the backstage, so I can't even. It was there when Brandy was speaking and you were first coming on, but then it disappeared. So you might need to reshare. Okay, uh, if everyone could just sit tight. Yeah. Let's see what happens if I stop my command, my camera, and make my camera come back. No, this is not working. Literally, this is interesting. Um, hold on just one sec. Sorry. Technical stuff. You know, it is what it is, right? It is. This is the, the fun of a live stream. And sometimes with StreamYard, going out and coming back in sets everything and calms everybody. It calms the StreamYard gremlins down a little bit. Oh, so there we go. Oh, there was something. I, okay. So I figured it out. All right. Okay. So what I was going to ask was if I can... Uh, just have the full screen and then I can use my own switcher like yes. this and, and do it this way. I can do yep, that? Sure can. Yep. I'm going right. to pull myself out and I'm going to do a solo preview and I will see you in a bit. Wonderful. All right. Um, so, you know, uh, most of you guys probably might have uh, seen a video of mine on the internet on YouTube. But ironically, I don't give many presentations like this. Um, and I think it's because I get a little nervous. So if you ever look at a WordCamp speaker lineup, you probably never see my name there. Because uh, ironically enough, I can I can crank out a great video, but then sometimes uh, something still make me ner nervous. So we're going to go through this uh, together. Uh, I do have just a couple slides and it's going to be all practical application today. So quickly about me. 
Uh, I got this funny name. Uh, someone once said, oh, you're that bald guy on YouTube. And uh, ever since then, I have ran with that phrase. If you ever get an email from me, it'll say, sincerely, Adam, that bald guy from YouTube. Most people recognize me from a YouTube channel that I have called WP Crafter, where I've been making WordPress tutorial videos since 2015. That's a very long time, and things have certainly changed a lot. Uh, but around 2017, I thought, hey, why don't I start trying to make some products? I think there's some thing I can add to this and bring to this. And that's when I started my product creation journey. And I'm also, one of those products is called Surecart. And that's the e-commerce platform that I'm gonna show you in this uh, presentation. That is a block, for, well, we're gonna learn more about Surecart in a moment. Um, so uh, with Surecart, our belief is that creating an online store just shouldn't be difficult. And your traditional e-commerce platforms they're for WordPress they're really made for developers they're not actually made for the end merchant and because of that there's a lot of user experience that gets sacrificed from it and they kind of can be a little tedious to use um, but our belief is different that anyone should be able to create an online store with their WordPress website and everything should be simple and easily customizable so in this presentation, uh, like I said a moment ago, uh, we're gonna set up a brand new store from scratch, actually a site in, with using Cadence and a store. It's only gonna take about five minutes. And then I'm gonna show you how to customize every part visually in that store. That means the shop page, the product page, the cart, the checkout page, and everything is gonna be familiar to you if you've ever used the block editor. And I'm assuming many people here use the cadence tech stack which is rooted deeply into the block editor and then after that i'll take any questions that you might have all right so there's this new era of products that are coming out i think honestly i'm gonna give some props up to cadence because i think they were really the first to really embrace this new era and the block builder is brush, uh, ushering in this new era of, of, of products that are easy to customize visually and uh, not like, for example, um, the old way. This is the new way. The old way, everything's kind of rigid. Think about e-commerce with WooCommerce. It's pretty rigid, right? you have the product page and it is what it is. If you have a theme that gives you some options, great, but then it still is whatever that theme gives you. You don't really have complete customizability visually, or you have to add additional products in because WooCommerce is not a block first e-commerce platform. So you have these tools that are coming, new era of tools that are block first. Cadence Blocks is one of those products. Surecart is also one of those products. And this really opens up a whole new world of visual customization for every part on the front end that these tools offer, which you'll see in this uh, presentation. So we're gonna be using Surecart. As I mentioned earlier, I'm the co-founder of Surecart. And it takes a block first approach to e-commerce where everything's gonna be visually customizable to you. So today we're gonna to take a look at Surecart, which was first released a year ago. And when we released Surecart at the time, it wasn't a complete WooCommerce alternative, but today it is. When we launched it, it was just some checkout forms, amazing subscription capabilities, amazing customization, but it didn't provide the traditional e-commerce experience. It, per, it offered standalone checkout forms, but now it has the full e-commerce experience, the shop page, the product page, the categories, the cart, and the checkout, the whole entire experience. So we're gonna get to take a look at that uh, today. And, um, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a brand new website. We're gonna put Cadence in, we're gonna put Shortcut in, and it's all gonna just take a few minutes. So I'm gonna create a blank website here. Let's call it uh, Cadence 
Sure, actually, Cadence Store. How about that? And I'm going to click on Create Site, and the site's already created. This is a Zip WP. It's like a testing platform where you can go and make a website like you saw. Just took a second. Let's go ahead and put a theme in. And for this, we are absolutely going to be choosing Cadence right here. And right after you activate Cadence, you are all familiar with this. There's an option to install the Starter Templates plugin. I'm going to choose a Starter Template right here. I just like the way this one looks. Um, so I'm going to click right here where it says Full Site. And I'm going to start importing. So you're all familiar with this. I think we're maybe 30 seconds in. We've already spun up a WordPress site. And in just a few more seconds, we're going to have a fully functional site. And it's just as fast to add Surecart to this site and have it look amazing out of the box. So we're just going to wait another moment here. Surecart is in the WordPress plugin directory. We're just going to go to Plugins, Add New, and do a search for Surecart. And it's going to be right there. And we're going to set that up. Okay, and looks like I'm done. Let's just take a quick look at the site. And this is exactly what I expected. So now let's go and add Surecart. Plugins, we're going to choose Add New and type uh, Surecart. Surecart, okay, I should spell that correctly. There we go. I'm going to do Install and Activate. So I hope I'm sticking to this five minutes. That was just a guess <laughs> of how long it would take. So now Surecart's installed. We just click on Surecart, and it's going to take us into this step-by-step -step, um, site creation onboarding process. I'm going to click on Create a New Store. I'm going to choose a brand color here. This is going to be used throughout the store automatically for you. Choose a currency. It'll be US dollar for me. I'll click on Continue. This right here lets you start from scratch. Basically, this is just some pre-created products that you could remove later. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here for printable merchandise. I'll click continue. And uh, here uh, you put your email in. This is used for the receipts that go out to your customers. I'll just leave that as is. Click on continue. It's setting up my store. And then we get the confetti. I, I love the confetti. And I'm going to click on view my store. So I think that took about five minutes or less. And we have a fully functional e-commerce store right now. So uh, here is my list of products. I'm going to show you in a moment how to fully customize this. And then you can click into any of these and you have a beautiful product page. And I'll show you how to customize this. And you can have multiple templates that you make that you can apply to different products. We can add this product to the cart and we have this beautiful slide out cart. I know I'm kind of in the way, so I can get out of the way just like that. Actually, how about this? I am going to um, switch the magic of video. Uh, this slide out cart is also completely visually customizable, which we're going to see in a moment all through the block editor. And then I'm going to click on checkout. It's going to take me to the checkout form. Now, obviously, I haven't connected a payment processor to it. That's right. We have this little warning right here that says I don't have any payment processors connected. But this is the checkout form, looks very Shopify-ish. And this as well is fully customizable using the block editor. All right, so I think that was about five minutes, right? Um, everything looks great right out of the box. And so here's a site that I have actually set up 30 minutes prior to this presentation, and I applied a couple customizations to it. So I changed the way the shop page looked a little bit, and I just did some simple centering of the um, shop cards right here, these product list cards. And if you're familiar with the block editor, this is super easy. You can just click on edit page, and it's going to be a block right here. I can click on it, and there's an icon here. When I click on that, I can customize every aspect of the individual product cards to get this product list to look however I want it to. And all of the options are here, your columns, products per page. And this is probably looking very familiar to you if you ever used the block editor before, especially when you use Cadence. You have control over pagination, 
font sizes, the products that actually show in this list. So if you want a short list that's on, say, your homepage, you can easily do that as well. So this right here is editing the product page. I'm sorry, the shop page. A couple other things I did, I add a, uh, the, this icon here to the menu and I, I added the link to this shop page here in the menu. So I, I did spend a couple minutes customizing this. And here is a product page where I made a couple changes uh, to it. And you can see it's a, I actually threw a lot of our features at this product page. So we have something called product collections. It's like categorization. So I have a, a list up here of the categories that we've, we, that, are, that have created that apply to this product. And I've also added variations. So there's this beautiful variation selector, and I'm gonna show you how all of this is customizable. With Shortcart, we do something a little different than with WooCommerce. You're allowed to have multiple prices for a product. So you might wanna have a product have a one-time price, a subscription price, an installment plan. You can do all of that and have this very, and this is actually very modern and common today to have a product with a one-time offer and a subscribe and save offer. I use Amazon. I'm sure many of you use Amazon. There's a lot of things I will subscribe and save if I can save 10% and I know I'm going to need it again in a month or two months or three months. Uh, Surecart makes it very easy to add this kind of experience as well to your e-commerce stores. So let me show you, before I progress, how this product is set up, as well as how to visually customize any product page design. So I can click on edit product right here, but actually let me go to the back end of this site, click into Surecart, and click into products, and this is a list of products. Now these are the products that were automatically created when we set up Surecart, you can obviously easily add your own products, but let me show you what a product looks like. I'll click into this product. You can give it a name. You can give it a description. You can have multiple images. So there's a gallery experience there. Here's what I was talking about where a product can have multiple prices. Uh, this is a very powerful feature uh, because it allows you to turn a one-time transaction into a recurring transaction if, or if, your product being sold is a very expensive product, say $1,000, and you want to split it up into 12 payments, you can do that here as well. All you do is click right here where it says add a price. You can give it a name. So that's where the subscribe and save name came from. You just give it a name and you can choose how you want it to work. And with subscriptions, there's all the things you would expect, such as a set of fees and trials and all of that. But we have that set up. And then when you scroll down, I'll show you in a moment how easy it is to create variations. It is so easy to do inside of Shortcart. But we're talking about customizing every area of your e-commerce system through the block editor. And this is something that I love about Shortcart is the template system. So here's a product. And over here on the right, it says template. And I'm using the default template. I can have as many templates as I want, but this allows you to visually customize out of the box what those product pages are gonna look at like and the layout. So I can click right here where it says edit template, or I can create new templates if I want, but I'll just create, uh, I'll just edit this existing template. So it takes you into this very familiar looking block editor experience over here where you can expand this and you can get the list view of everything that makes up this product page. You can rearrange things very easily. You can add new things. You can make a column sticky if you wanted. So when you scroll, you can add additional information underneath here if you want to have a fully designed product page that might look something like something you see on Apple's website or uh, websites that have these key products that have very unique buying experiences along with it. And all of this should be familiar to you. So if I wanted to say, uh, for example, here is uh, my, we call them price choices. That was the one time in the subscribe and save. If I click on the block, 
I've got full options here. So if I wanted it to show, it, let's see how we had it right here. We have it in two columns, but if I wanted these stacked, all I have to do is change the columns down to one. Uh, like that. If I didn't want to show the price, I could do that. I would, of course, always want to show the price. And you can even change this text label that's above it. See how everything is done visually. Here's the text label. Everything is done visually. The same goes for the buttons down here. So I can click on a button and say, hmm, that's taken up 100%. Why don't I make that take up 50%? And then the buy button, I can make take up 50%. Now I have that side-by-side button effect and this is all done visually traditionally if you wanted to do something like this with any other e-commerce tool for wordpress you don't get this level of customization because it's not a block first based product and so shortcut is a block we're, we're doing things in the block editor that no one's doing yet and that's the extent of how it's a block first experience so you would just go through here. You can add whatever you want. You can add some cadence blocks in here. You can add anything and make a truly unique experience when someone wants to purchase any of your products. Okay. Now what's nice about that though, it's not just one template. You can have as many templates as you want. So if you have different types of products, you can create entirely different purchasing experiences for each and apply the template to the product that you want to apply it to. So it's fully and entirely customizable inside of that experience. So that's how you can fully customize this. Now, one of the things I'm actually very proud of is, is the slide out cart. So let me click add to cart. I think I've already added a product to cart. Yeah, now I've got two items here. This as well is customizable. Let me show you. So I'm gonna go back here to Surecart, and there's a option here that says cart. And when you click on cart, this is the cart right here. You can expand the list view, and you can see everything here that makes up the cart, and you can click on them and start customizing them. So say the cart header right here, if I wanted to change the text, it says review your cart, I can just highlight and change that. I did change the color to match the brand of the site. So you can see over here on the right, I changed the background color and the text color, but you can have full control over literally every aspect of Surecart and this slide out cart using the block editor, which you're already familiar uh, with. And you can also add additional uh, components. We have this other feature here called cart message. You can click on that. It's at the bottom. Let's go ahead and drag it to the top and we can type something here. Free shipping on all orders, free shipping on all orders. Ooh, did you see my skills of typing without looking at the keyboard? Man. Okay. <laughs> so then uh, we can align it. It's just all visual. So, you know, if we wanted to make the background color something uh, different, um, uh, we can do that same, maybe we do like a gray on white. Uh, we can do whatever we want here, whatever makes sense. That font looks a little small. Uh, so we can increase the size of the message right here. You've got full control over every aspect of your store visually using the block editor. I know I keep saying that, uh, but it's true. This is what Surecart is all about. Okay, so next, what you would wanna do is click on the checkout button. It's gonna take you right here to this Shopify looking, I don't know if it's Shopify. They actually changed their checkout recently um, to be actually more like this. They went multi-step and now they say multi-step isn't the optimized way. A single page checkout is the optimized way. And so we actually have that right here. So this as well, everything is customizable using a block editor. You wanna change this color. You actually wanna change the layout entirely and not have this two column set up but have a single column. You can do all of that. Now, what's really nice about this if you've used the newly released cadence blocks that has the form builder, the Surecart, um, I would like to say that the Surecart way of doing forms highly inspired that new feature that was added to 
uh, cadence blocks, which I think is amazing. So you're going to be feeling right at home. So here is that checkout form and you go here and uh, let's expand this all out. So I've got every part here that makes up this column and every part that makes up this column. We can change colors. We can rearrange things. Now, Surecart actually ex very much excels when it comes to the checkout customization. We have an option here for custom fields. So you can add custom fields. They can conditionally load. Uh, we have uh, numerous elements that you can add to your checkout form, radio boxes, all kinds of things to really get the checkout experience that you want. And it's all visually customizable as you would expect. So we can see here, let's see, so some of the things we got. We have this beautiful, you know, it's not appropriate here, but it's a name your own price type of interface. If you wanted a standalone donation form, you got that. You can reposition this checkout errors as well. If there's like, say, something wrong with the address of the credit card, you can position where that would go. Just as you would expect, you can drop in your, uh, if you're an EU merchant um, or a global merchant, you can drop the VAT field so you can uh, display that when someone is visiting from the EU and they want to enter their VAT number. Uh, things you'd expect such as phone, titles, headings, custom fields, first name, last name, password. If you want to add a password field here so someone can put that in as they're checking out, you can do that. We've got switches and checkboxes. This I love a lot. So let's actually add that. I'm going to add a switch and oops, it added it right there, but that's okay. Uh, it's the block editor. We can move this down and we'd probably want this above the purchase button. And what the switch block you can do with this is have someone opt into your terms and conditions or to agree to anything that you want. And just like everything else, it's all visual. So I can make this required. I can change the name from switch to something else. I can visually click in here and start uh, typing different bits of text. I can put hyperlinks to terms and conditions. And, um, uh, and what also happens is when someone checks out, it keeps a record of them having checked this on. Uh, so uh, you have all of this power and flexibility uh, just right here at your fingertips. And there's also other checkout form templates. So when I click on this, let's see, I don't think it's going to break anything. We have multiple templates to choose from. So if you want something where it's a single column and you wrap it up in a really pretty design, you can easily do that as well. All right. Now you think we're done, but we're not. There's a customer area. So I'm going to place a test order right now and you're going to see the customer area and you can also visually customize every aspect of the customer area using blocks and you can do some really special things there. So I actually have to place a transaction. It's just going to take me a sec to fill this out. I got to put the uh, address in as actually, you know what? I forgot to say how beautiful this is on mobile. Uh, let me go to inspect and, and let's see, and this is what it looks like on an iPhone. Uh, you can see we put the order summary at the top with the total and the buyer can expand it, but this would be the default view right here and then fill this out. It's important that everything looks great on a mobile device. Okay, let me just fill this out. It's just going to take a second. This is my P.O. box, by the way. If you want to mail me anything, uh, you can do that. Um, I forgot to mention with Surecart, you notice I didn't enable the tax collection. Uh, there's real-time uh, uh, tax calculations. You literally just go into the settings, click on taxes, you toggle it on, put your address in. Uh, if you're in the EU, you put, uh, you just configure your tax region and stuff like this, and it does the real time calculation. Um, so uh, for selling physical products, you probably, I probably would have wanted to do that, but I forgot to do that. 9709, and this is a fake number. Uh, I only connected this with Stripe for Stripe test mode, but you can connect to PayPal. You can connect to Mercado Pay. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Molly, that's what I meant to say. Molly, we're working on Mercado Pago. Uh, Molly and Paystack, uh, we support lots of, and all the payment methods Stripe offers. It's like 20 different payment methods. All right, uh, 888-91709. Okay, and you can see link is also integrated here. So when you click on uh, purchase, actually, this is really cool. You see these little messages that's telling you what's happening in the order. That's actually all customizable too. I forgot to show you that. I really love it. Uh, so let me see, let me um, actually, uh, here, let me get back into my checkout page. And uh, when I click on here, I love this. That was called the loading text, submitting order, processing payment. This is what I'm talking about, customizing every aspect. You can add some um, some kind of the way your brand speaks to make something fun in these messages here. Like, hey, wait on, wait a second, or we're, we're, we're getting this done for you right now, just hold on. Uh, you can do all of that uh, right here. And then what you're seeing is the modal. Uh, so we have this modal pop up when the order is complete. You could actually send them to a custom order confirmation page if you want. This is just easier out of the box, but all of this bit of text, you can go in here and customize it all that you want. See that the bit at the top, everything is customizable. The colors using that brand color. All right, and I'm going to click on continue and this is going to take us to the customer area. And this is what it's going to look like out of the box. It's amazing. Everything is customizable. So this is the dashboard of the customer area. I'm going to click on edit page in a moment and you're going to be able to put whatever you want in here using the block editor. Uh, but this is where your buyer would go. They can click on uh, the orders. They can download receipts. They can see the status of the shipping. If there was subscriptions, it would be plans. You could also attach digital downloads and stuff like that, and that would appear here. But you know what? This is a physical store, so let's go and remove this downloads because it doesn't actually need to be there. Uh, but also we have this here where, where the buyer can access their account and billing and all that go back to the home page. So just like everything else, you can click on edit and edit this out however you desire visually using the block editor. Uh, so let's expand this. You can see order subscription downloads. I don't need downloads. I'm not selling downloads here. So let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, but you know what? Maybe I actually want to add like a video. But you know what? I don't have a link to a video, but you can literally click here and add any block that you want. So if there's some video of you saying, hey, thanks for buying stuff from us. Um, you got all that stuff that you need down below. You can put a video in. You can put anything you want in because it's all visual with the block editor. And uh, so that looks good. Um, and then let's see, there's one more thing I want to do is toggle off downloads right here. Click on update. Now let's view that page and you see it no longer says downloads because I just visually removed the downloads and I also removed it here from the uh, dashboard. Now, Surecart uh, is going to allow you three ways to do e-commerce transactions that's the traditional way that like you would expect with woocommerce where there's a shop page product page cart page and a checkout page and you can all you can actually have that running on your store today for free for maybe investing like 20 minutes of your time setting it up it's very easy to use but there's two other ways that you can have um e-commerce on your website that's just one way the other way is to have a standalone checkout form so this is very much like what you have with the form builder inside of cadence you can literally go to a page and add a new checkout form on the spot actually let's just go ahead and do it i wasn't planning on doing this but i can say um uh, my thing and then i can go here and I can scroll down and there's an option for checkout form. Let's create a new form. Let's give it a name, my thing. You can name it whatever you want. Click on next, choose a design. So say I wanted to choose um, uh, this right here. I'll choose next. And then I can choose my products that I want sold in this standalone checkout form. Say I want that. And uh, maybe I want this product right here. And then I can do a custom thank you page, which I'd mentioned. 
And now I've got a checkout form here that I might want to expand out and add uh, some more customizations to, but it's now a standalone checkout form. Uh, another thing that we have, the third way to sell with Shortcart, when you create a product, and this is actually something I came up with, I'm very proud of it. I'm all about how fast is it to set up? So we made it a feature called Instant Checkout Forms, and I love this feature. You literally just go and create a product, and then we have these, th this is very opinionated, by the way. It's for someone that wants something that looks great up and have it up quick, but necessarily might sacrifice all the little tweaks they might want to do to it. So you go here on any product, and you can turn it into an instant checkout form. And we have these options through Toggle. So if you didn't want to show the product image or you wanted to change the width of your logo, um, coupon field, all of that, I'm just going to click on preview. So this is an instant checkout form. You don't have to do anything to create it. Uh, you just make your product and you turn it on, customize the URL, do a couple toggles, and you have this beautiful checkout form. And this is that product that had the uh, variations to it. Um, I, I love the instant checkout form. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how easy it is to add pr the product variations. Uh, and then we'll take any questions that you have. Okay, uh, this is... A feature that actually launches Tuesday is product variations. Uh, and so it's so easy to set up. You scroll down. What variations are, um, if you're not experienced with e-commerce, just think of it like you're selling a t-shirt. A t-shirt might be in multiple colors and multiple sizes. So those are different variations of the same t-shirt pattern. So that's one way to think of it. So you go here, setting this up in WooCommerce is kind of a lot of moving parts, but not, not with your card. You click here to add an option. Let's just call this color. And then you click here and you add your values. So I'm selling this in green and I'm selling this in orange. And maybe, uh, maybe I should spell that right. Orange and I will do it in black. Perfect. If you notice all my shirts are always black and I click on done. So I just created variations and you can see the three variations are here but then you can make it more complex i'm going to add more i'm going to put size and say we sell this in small we sell this in medium and we sell this in large done here's all my product variations and i can override the price maybe the large shirt is um 39 you can do it like that and you can add your SKU. And you click on save product and you literally just built your product variations. I really wanted to show that part. So I think I've covered uh, fully um, Shirtcart and all that you're able to do with it in order to, to have an, uh, just a better and easier e-commerce experience. Obviously, there's some more stuff in there. I didn't show you where you put in the business address for tax calculations. I didn't show you order bumps. I didn't show you uh, one-click upsells. I didn't show you uh, cart abandonment, um, subscription management, but just know it's all there and it's very easy to use. So what I'd like to do now is go through any of the comments and find any that um, might be questions and I'll be happy to answer those. Okay. Oh, am I able to display comments on here? Let's see. I think I might be able to. I'm not able to. So I'm just going to scroll through here. Let's see. Okay. We got uh, Kathy back. Yeah. I c we've got a question here from Tammy oh. about shipping. Yeah. And how so, does... Okay. Oh, yeah, shipping. So in the settings, you would, uh, there's a shipping option there and you can set up your shipping profiles. So you can set uh, the areas that you ship to, the methods that you use and the cost for those methods. It could either be a fixed cost or it could be a cost based upon weight. So in the product pages, I, I didn't, I should have shown up uh, creating a product from scratch. But there's an option for a product to say it's physical and to set the weight um, or to say it's digital. 
And so what ends up happening is you had said, I probably should have done that for the demo, set up the shipping. <laughs> Big mistake, but that's okay. We have a, a couple of videos on shipping and setting it up on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's very easy to set up. You can have multiple uh, regions, um, all of it. It's very simple. And then there's a full uh, fulfillment process that you can go through. Marking it is shipped, putting in the tracking number. The buyer gets emailed the tracking number. They can see the tracking number in a link in the customer area. So all of that's there. The one thing that's not there that we are working on in the next uh, two months or so is shipping automations. And that's where you'll just link it up with like ShipStation or there's like five or six of them that are big uh, in the various countries. And those are coming in, in, in uh, uh, very soon. Excellent. Very exciting. I just popped the Surecart uh, YouTube channel over into the chat so you can mark that for later so you can see see more about how Surecart works. Um, I've just been watching you develop this from, from, from launch and it just keeps getting better and better and where it is right now and some of the demonstrations that you've just shown us has really matured as a, as as a real big player in the e-commerce space. I'm so excited for this. Thanks. Uh, you know, it's, it's been an adventure. Um, uh, we, I didn't realize how complex an e-commerce platform is, uh, but I'm very fortunate. We have built an amazing team of developers and we're, we are moving so quickly. Uh, I didn't get to show what is launching um, in about three weeks is an integrated affiliate platform uh, as well. So if you are, you know, if you have affiliates, uh, we've got that go coming in. Uh, we've got so much coming to the platform. Next year, we are going to be adding multi-currency and something called purchase power parity. That's where you can have different pricing discounts based upon the region of the buyer. Um, we we have a built-in licensing system. If you sell um, products that need license codes and things like that, there's just so much we, we can do uh, with it. Okay, great. Okay, I have a question for someone that I consult with. Um, they are on WooCommerce and there's some things that they need that you just listed. How easy is it for a WooCommerce store, a relatively small store, but let's say they have about 20 to 30 SKUs, how is the easy would it be to migrate to SureCard? I'm so happy you asked that. Um, we identified about maybe like in January that we have to make it easy for people to move from WooCommerce, right? The question kept coming up and coming up. And so we actually have built it already. And so when you first install Surecart, uh, there'll be a banner in the settings area that says, are you coming from another uh, e-commerce platform? And then when you click on it, you fill out a form. Right now we're doing assisted migrations. So you can just say um, the details of your store and we'll contact you and we'll assist you in migrating. And what we are currently migrating is products, uh, customers, and we can even migrate active subscriptions if you're selling subscriptions using WooCommerce subscriptions. So wow. we can even migrate that across. Now, the the cost of, sub, of subscriptions in Surecart is, is zero. I use the free version of Surecart right there. Everything I showed was in the free version. Um, so the the subscriptions, selling multiple subscription terms, selling installment plans, which is very hard to do traditionally, mm -hmm. uh, selling a product in installments, all that works just right out of the box, including name your own price. I didn't get into that. Uh, that's like for donations or, or things like that. And I didn't even actually show, there's probably so much I should have showed. I didn't show integration. <laughs> right so for example if there's um you know part of the cadence family's learn dash and you want to sell a courses or something along with physical products we have the yeah. integrations right there it's just like point and click choose the course boom when the purchase is made the buyer ends up in the course um uh, we have lots of integrations uh like that amazing all right well so definitely go over to the sure cart uh YouTube channel, subscribe there because as these things come out, I'm certain Adam will be making videos. We've got some more questions. Sailor would like to know were there controls to edit templates for tablet and mobile? So if somebody is trying to, you know, there's lots of people who have a uh, customer journey that's starting on Instagram and coming into an e-commerce platform, how can they handle mobile? Yeah, so with mobile, uh, with 
the block editor that you saw and as well with like the cadence theme uh i'm gonna probably botch some of the terminology i'm using they use uh something called clamp I, i'm i know i'm already botching it so don't judge me anyone where uh a lot of those values are already pre-baked into your theme and into wordpress so will automatically be responsive on mobile devices out of the box uh, obviously if you're using a block that has a specific mobile controls uh you can do that as well but out of the box everything's going to be uh, mobile responsive with spacing automatically using those uh, clamp values that are love it we set in there and themes have set in there amazing yeah and clamp is the same methodology that cadence blocks three and a current version of cadence blocks is using so that it's highly responsive and i liken it to moving away from driving a stick shift and having an automatic transmission that just figures out all that fancy stuff and we don't have to think about it anymore yeah and it's a better way because it's more consistent yeah. exactly exactly all right we've got another question from robin can you use Surecart as an invoicing system to make invoices for customers, which then get an email and can pay? So like, let's say, for example, I, I would think the implementation of this would be you're selling services. And so you, you are coaching program and you want to do maybe a recurring type of payment thing for for recurring coaching. Yeah, so there's a couple ways to accomplish that. Um, I think the specific way you're asking is something we want to build, but we haven't built it yet, but we've already planned it out. So um, first of all, it can work with an existing billing system. You can set up a form that has a uh, name your own price. Um, and so you could include a link, click on this link to pay your invoice, and the person can type their invoice number in with a custom field, as well as the specific amount they want and they could pay. I don't think that's what you're asking. The, the other thing uh, that you can do is if someone has already made a transaction with you, there's a saved payment method. So you can go in and you can create what's called a manual order and you can, but that will charge them immediately without their intervention. That's probably the better way to go versus sending an invoice and waiting for them to pay when they feel like paying it. But what you're specifically asking for is, can I go create a manual order that would kind of be an invoice and um, uh, they would get a link and pay at their convenience. Uh, and that's something we, we want to build, but we have not built just yet. We have a lot of people asking for it, and we'll probably get to that maybe around March of next year. Okay, excellent, great. Oh, so the behemoths in e-commerce traditionally, well, over the past few years, have been WooCommerce, open source, you own your platform, you can move it to any hosting provider, um, and then, of course, Shopify, which is all a hosted situation, and you're locked in. And Surecart kind of seems like a little bit of a hybrid in the middle because there are some things that are happening on Surecart servers. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You want me to explain that? I, I'd love for you to overview that and then talk about um, sort of the pros and cons of going that route. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. So Surecart is a different type of um, uh, infrastructure. So what happens is E-commerce is a more demanding application to put onto your website. Anyone who's put WooCommerce knows it's going to eat more resources. It makes the back end a bit slower, the front end a bit slower, especially if you're going to have, you know, the activities that a normal store would have. And traditionally, you have to buy your way out of that. You get better hosting, more expensive hosting, and you just apply money to have a more a higher monthly payment to get out of it. But even with that, you still have lots of problems. Have you ever tried to create a staging area for a WooCommerce site and now your data is out of sync? And if you merge it back, you just lost orders, you just lost um, uh, any activity that happened in between when you made that staging site. There's lots of problems that you run into self-hosting your e-commerce tool and also with woocommerce if something goes wrong it's like being on a desert island you're all alone there's no like woocommerce guy that you can call i mean there's you can't call woocommerce and get support <laughs> you know it just doesn't work like that you're on your own now obviously you can get past being on your own by uh you know some woocommerce exp experts that you might pay to come and save the day when you run into a problem 
Sure card's different. So everything that you saw, I did on the website, but technically none of that data is on your website. It's all securely stored in the Sure card platform, which uses the same infrastructure that Salesforce uses. So it's highly secure. It's extremely fast. It's capable of handling an insane load um, where um, it's all securely backed up. You have access to it whenever you want. In fact, in the settings, there's the download and you can download all of your, your, your data right there. But the benefit to someone using Surecart over WooCommerce is there's a team that's watching over it 24 seven, which is just something you don't get when you're going fully self-hosted. So if there's some kind of say attack going on on your website and they're trying to submit thousands of fake orders, our system catches that and stops it. So Thanks. you don't have to worry about it. Um, there's a lot of benefits as well with email deliverability and all of that. Um, all these things are managed for you. So technically it's kind of like managed e-commerce, um, but you have access to all your data whenever you want it. It's right there. In fact, we have a sister tool that's free called Sure Triggers. Um, well, there's a free plan that's very generous um, and you can real time put your data wherever you want in a Google sheet um, into another system wherever you want. Uh, and you don't have that staging issue because the data is not stored on your website. If you have a plugin or on your website that doesn't have a security update and now the website gets hacked, well, that hacker's not getting access to your customer data. They're not getting access to orders. They're not getting access yeah. to any of that stuff because it's not there. Right. So this handles a lot of the PCI compliance, the personally identifiable information, all of the all of the stuff that the payment card industry is very interested in you securing. Surecart is compliant with all of that. And so it takes that off of the store owner's head. All of it off of the store owners. Uh, you know, it's when you have a store, you want to focus on growing the store, getting the customers, right. getting the sales, marketing your business. You don't want to focus on my website is slow. Um, there's this problem with placing orders, uh, all of these kind of administrative burdens. So Surecart gets that kind of all off your shoulders. Now, obviously you could buy your way out of it um, with uh, consultants and things like that. Um, uh, it's just also interesting is uh, we got Black Friday coming up. Yeah, Surecart can scale scale in real time. Your website can't. Most hosting is not prepared for scaling for large sales. They're not. Yeah. And, and the ones that are, they charge you like two to $300 extra per month in order for that real time scaling. Um, so there's just a lot of advantages. Okay. And then compared to something like Shopify, Surecart has, has additional advantages versus Shopify. Uh, absolutely. So, uh, first of all, uh, we, uh, everything that you saw was coming through a plugin and it's completely open. We've got integrations with everything else that you see in, in WordPress can easily integrate with Surecart, And we've got many integrations ourselves. Uh, so that's number one, you saw the level and detail of customization and how easy it was. Uh, so there's not really a learning curve to go through to get the experience that you want uh, when you're selling things. Where with, um, and that's a lot of it's because it's where it's a block first based product where if you've used Cadence before or just, I guess the WordPress block editor, it, you're going to feel right at home. So you don't have these steep learning curves, but I think the biggest thing is Shopify, it gets really expensive really quick. I don't think people realize that these merchants are paying thousands of dollars per month. Uh, you go there and it says, oh, it's, uh, I think it's uh, $39 per month if you pay for a year or something like that. And that's the lowest plan, but you don't realize the minute you start scaling that, that, that fee, just add a zero, multiply it. You know, it, it, it gets, they, the, that's the, like the name of the game, you know? Uh, so yeah. merchants end up paying a fortune. Yeah, but it's also definitely. nice to have it on your website as well. Definitely. It gives you a lot more flexibility and, a, and much more control. My daughter tried to, she's 15. She tried to build out a Shopify store. And I'm like, go, go ahead. Don't listen to mom. It was, uh, she hit the wall pretty fast. <laughs> it was not a pleasant experience. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's the challenge with traditional e-commerce. It's very complex uh, where, 
you know, we tried to make everything simple and easy because anyone should be able to have, have a store. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. We have a question from Richard. How would you handle with Shurkart printing products where there are fixed quantities with each quantity having a different price? Yeah. So um, I don't, well, so it depends if it could be fulfilled through product variations um then it was simple you can just set up the different variations of it so say different print sizes um different canvases i'm just thinking pictures for some reason you can override the price for each of the variation you can have a unique price there however if it's something like really detailed i i believe the term might be like dynamic pricing where someone's going to manually enter in a value on the product page and it's going to calculate a price uh you're not able to do that with your cart right now okay if that if i got the question right okay yeah variations that's what i think they were talking about um tammy has a question oh. about integrations with um convert kit mailchimp any of the ESPs. Yep. So what we did was we built a, 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 a sister product, we could call it, called Sure Triggers. And Sure tr Triggers, uh, think of Zapier uh, without the high cost of Zapier. So when you purchase, if you did get on a SureCart paid plan, we include a plan of Sure Triggers that uh, sure triggers integrates with pretty much every WordPress plugin and hundreds of um, apps, SaaS apps. Uh, so all the email marketing services, it fully integrates. So there's this visual canvas that you can go to say, when an order comes in, send the, uh, send the email here, send this there, and you can send something into Google Sheets. You can, you can integrate with all of these apps and, you know, probably by summer next year, we'll integrate with over a thousand apps. Um, so we do have um, a free plan for Sure Triggers to complement the free plan of SureCart. And that lets you do a thousand things per month. So uh, say you receive 300 orders per month and you just wanna send the email to ConvertKit. Well, that would be 300 of the thousand you get that month. Um, but you can do the most amazing things. Uh, you can send it to convert kit send it to google sheets send it to zoom for a meeting send it to uh, a shipping company uh you can really do some amazing things just like you would with zapier but without the high cost amazing excellent um and then is this an uncomfortable question um <laughs> uh no it's not um so um uh, I, I briefly mentioned uh, a platform called Zip. And actually, if anyone watching this wants to try it, they can go to wpcrafter.com slash zip and it will take you straight to the registration. It's a back door. No one even knows that. And I'm sure it's going to leak out. Uh, and you can create a, a free Zip account. So uh, I built the, the website you saw today on Zip. You can literally click on create a, a blank website, give it a name, and you have the website instantaneously. And then you can uh, test things. You can build out projects and all that. Another thing that you could do alternatively in Zip is uh, build a website with artificial intelligence. Um, that is um, new. Um, and so uh, I, I'm not answering the question. <laughs> um, uh, currently, no, uh, we don't know what the future looks like. How about that? <laughs> is that a good well, way of putting it? That's a good way of putting it. I'm going to I'm going to bring Ben in cuz he's going to have a session up next and Ben and I are watching what you're doing with ZipWP Adam. Very interesting stuff you're happening over there. Well, you know what? I got to say, you know, Ben and I have had uh, conversations about that. Ben and I are friends for everyone that's still on. Ben and I are friends. We've been friends since uh, we met each other in 2019. Uh, and about every probably four to six months, we have a two or three hour Zoom call just to catch up. Um, so uh, we talk shop. We talk uh, different things. Um, and uh, we've we you know, I'm I, I love the stuff that um, I guess this is what I want to say. I am so excited about AI and its application to save time and to do things in a better way. 
and I I love what Ben's doing. I love what Cadence is doing. I think it's just a, an exciting time to be a web creator. And um, there'll be many uh, applications of AI, and uh, I think it's great to stick with a company that has the resources uh, to be experimenting and offering solutions to their customers uh, using artificial intelligence to be able to get your job done better. And there you go. <laughs> hey, Ben. Adam. Hey, man. <clears throat> it's always good to see you, Adam. Thanks so much yeah. for being on this today. Oh, yeah. I, I appreciate the invite. Um, a sure cart looks great on Cadence websites, by the way. We... Uh, yeah. We, we made e-commerce with Surecart. And so uh, Ben has been very accommodating with Surecart. There was something we needed um, him to do for Cadence users when we were gonna launch product pages, which I showed. And uh, Ben's like, ah, I got this, no problem. Within like two days, he had the update out. Um, so uh, uh, that's the benefit of uh, us all being friends. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Well, we all, I think, Everyone that's working in this space, you know, you can really tell the organizations that have their eye on the end user and trying to make building sites faster, easier, better, more efficient so that they can create better things for their customers. And I know that everything that you're doing with SureCart, Sure Triggers, everything that's going on with ZipWP is all aimed towards that similarly on the Cadence side. And it's just a pleasure to watch both organizations moving the ball forward and setting the bar pretty high. So yeah, doing cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Thank you so much, Adam, for being here and for answering all the questions, especially answering my questions. I know I had a few. That was just a great, I am so excited to play with uh, SureCart and to recommend it to a few people who are, are pained, kind of hitting some walls in various areas. And I think you're going to solve those things. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for asking questions. If there was a question that you think of later or a question that I didn't get to, but I think uh, Kathy had it all under control. Uh, I'm easy to find on the internet. Uh, so um, you can literally ask in the Cadence Facebook group and tag me uh, or whatever, whatever uh, you want. Uh, it's, I'm super easy to find. But thanks for having me on today. Um, I will end now and become a viewer. And I'd like to, to see what uh, Ben's got to, got, got to share. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much, Adam. We will see yeah, you really soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.